have here a photovoltaic cell, the symbol of a photovoltaic cell, the terminal voltage V and the terminal current I that is supposed to flow out of the terminal A here is indicated. And we also know, we have seen before, the equivalent circuit model of this photovoltaic cell and that is like this. So you have this constant current source representing the photo current. The photo current IP is basically directly proportional to the incident solar power. This is primarily the source, rest all other parameters are sinks, dissipators. And we shall now try to study this equivalent circuit model a bit further and try to arrive at the equation for the terminal current with respect to the various parameters of the photovoltaic cell. So using this model, we shall further get some more insight into the photovoltaic cell, which will be useful for selection choice of the photovoltaic cell. Let us clear some place and position the equivalent circuit here. The looking at the equivalent circuit, the current IP is equal to ID the diode current plus the current through the resistance R shunt plus the terminal current I. If you consider this as the reference node, the voltage at this node again can be seen that it is equivalent to V plus this drop and this drop is having a potential which is positive here and negative here and therefore you have at this point V plus IRS. Therefore, I flowing, current flowing through R shunt is V plus IRS divided by R shunt. Rearranging, we get the current, terminal current, which is IP minus the diode current ID minus the current flowing through R shunt which I can write as V plus I into RS by R shunt. Now the diode current we know from the PN junction theory it can be written as I0, which is the reverse saturation current, e to the power of voltage across the diode, which is nothing but V plus IRS by an ideality factor N into Vt minus 1. So this is the equa current e equation for the diode and it comes from the PN junction theory which you will find it in any um, electronics PN junction chapter. Typical reference would be the integrated circuits uh, electronics by Milman and Halkayas. Now what is Vt, N and I0? I0 is the reverse saturation current Vt is the volt equivalent of temperature, Vt is the volt equivalent of temperature and given by Boltzmann constant into the temperature divided by Q. Q is the electronic charge in coulombs, K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature in degree Kelvin, 
and if you substitute the Boltzmann constant the electronic charge you will get this to be a value T by 11600. N is a parameter which is dependent upon the material and it has a value equal to 2 for silicon and it has values which uh, are different for other uh, semiconductor materials. Now I0 itself called the reverse saturation current reverse saturation current is also dependent on the material and the doping of the PN and the N junctions. Not only that, I0 is dependent on temperature. So this is given by the following relation K T to the power of M E to the power of minus V G O by N V T the same N V T coming into the picture here where K is a constant which depends upon the dimensions of the PN junction and also the material properties and VGO. VGO is numerically the equivalent uh, band gap energy in electron volts. So VGO is basically the forbidden the band gap energy which is EGO in electron volts. So this, this is again a numerical value which will uh, come in there. Vt of course is known which is same as uh, as written about T by 11600. N again is uh, 2 for silicon. T is the temperature in degree Kelvin. Some typical values are like this. You have M which is equal to 1.5 for silicon. And VGO varying from 1.16 to 1.21 again depends upon the grade of purification whether it is electronic grade solar grade the solar grade for PV cells will be more closer to 1.16 volts so these are the typical values uh, using which you can get the reverse saturation current for a particular PN junction device the entire model of the photovoltaic terminal current can now be written as IP is the photo current the directly proportional to the incident solar radiation minus I naught e to the power of V terminal voltage plus IRS by N VT minus the current flowing through the shunt resistance which is given like this. So this would form the terminal current model of the PV cell and this can be obtained easily from the equivalent circuit as 
shown above. So this equation of the current, a word of caution at this point, you see that the terminal current I is a function of itself, I appearing here in the equation. So this means that this is an acausal equation, which means that the present state of I is dependent on the present state of I itself. And uh, therefore, it is an algebraic equation and uh, you can land up in problems when you do simulation. However, in practice, you should understand that the diode is not an ideal diode. It has junction capacitances and uh, the junction capacitance across the diode will uh, take care of the uh, causality problems which means the voltage here will be a state and uh, it will have history and memory and therefore the uh, current here uh, will not cause a problem if you simulate this particular circuit in spice because spice takes the real model of the diode along with the uh, junction and diffusion capacitances. Whereas if you try to simulate this equation in Simulink in MATLAB as an equation, it will give you algebraic loop problems. So for that, uh, what would can be done is to use a memory block, a history block, pass this current I through a history block and use that to calculate the uh, terminal voltages here. This would uh, uh, give some memory effect and can uh, make the simulation work uh, without problems. Uh, however, for our analysis and selection of uh, uh, devices and to understand the PV cell, uh, this model is more than sufficient and we will use this model to understand the PV cell further and characterize it.